Oh, oh, whoa! Hot potato! It's another cat. It's bigger. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! What is happening? Ah! Dude, this thing's got me freaked out! In spite of the fact that Lake Winnipeg is the sixth largest lake in Canada, all you need is a pair of chest waders to get into the water with a huge variety of fish literally swimming around at your feet. Of all the species to be caught here, the freshwater drum is my absolute favorite. They are beautiful and they fight hard, but they have a bad reputation for tasting fishy and most anglers won't eat them. My goal for this trip was to challenge that perspective and hopefully inspire other people to not write off this delicious fish so quickly. Drum are a little tricky in the sense that if they're not super hungry, they eat pretty slow. Mm. So we'd want to like potentially switch it up and use some of the bait that I brought. But the most fun way to do it is to catch them on a moving bait. The thing you're going to want to be most careful with here is if you look at obviously the stuff that we're standing on, that extends into the water a long way yeah and it's just a super shallow flat so as soon as that bait gets low yeah it wants to grab these rocks like crazy for sure so the key is reel pretty quick mm -hmm. and keep don't that rod get, tip up don't let it get snagged up yeah we'll for sure lose some lures today and we'll for sure get some snags and that's okay joe is an old friend of mine and he appreciates great food probably more than anyone i know He's eaten a lot of seafood and at some of the best restaurants in the world. Not only making him a great fishing partner, but also a qualified taste tester. Here, fishy, fishy. Yeah, I don't know, Joe. We gotta up our game here a little bit. What I don't want to do, but we might have to do, is switch to bait. And put some minnows on some hooks and just let it sit but I'd rather be casting because it's definitely more fun. There, oh no! On! This is gonna be a good one, Joe. Oh baby, what's it feel like? It feels really powerful. I think it's a, I think it's a cat. Yeah? Oh yeah, I'll be, I'll be on here for a while, I'm assuming. Okay. Woo! I'll go oh, grab. Oh, oh. Grab that net. Oh, I, it got off. Oh. False alarm, keep casting. Okay. Dang it! That was an extremely powerful fish. Unreal. Oh, I'm snagged it. Just give it a couple whacker smacks there. There we go. Dang, I caught a rock too. That's no good. I'm on. Oh, this might be a drum, baby. Big head shakes. It's coming towards you. I don't know, but it's... Oh, no, it got off. Oh. oh. Right there. Right it, like, there. saw you and took off. Oh. I have no idea what that was. It honestly looked like a walleye. Ah, <sighs> Joe. Some dark clouds were rolling in carrying with them a few raindrops. After a bit of a rough morning dealing with snags and losing fish, we decided to build a fire and cook some lunch while we waited for the weather to clear. Once the rain had stopped and our bellies were full, we were anxious to get back out into the water. And as is always the case with fishing, patience and persistence eventually pay off.
There it is. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, she's running, boy. I should stand up at some point, I figured. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's running. It's a runner. I might be able to just pop the hook. Oh! Yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it's just a fat fish. Like, that's a, that's a healthy pike. I mean, dang it. We're catching fish. I know. And it's fun. But they, they're not drum. All right, buddy. We're just gonna... Yep. Whoa! Thanks a lot. Thank you. I guess I deserved it. What a gorgeous night. It's unreal. That's literally like 80, 90% of the pleasure of coming out. Yeah, seriously. Is just this. Oh. And then the fish are just kind of a bonus. Oh, here comes a pelican. Oh, look at this. These things are majestic. <laughs> Where's that fish? Oh, look at, look, look, look. Holy smokes. They definitely want that fish. <laughs> They're super competitive right now. You see that? Yeah. Oh, come on. I think they know it's a pike and they're like, nuh -uh. Dude, this is nuts. I don't know why they're wasting their time either. It's not like they can share it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's just so amazing how skittish they are. Like, you guys eat fish all day. Come on. Oh, he got... Oh, 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 oh. He's got it. Oh, slugged it back. I'm glad that's over with. We woke up the next morning with winds blowing out of the northwest, making the lake way too rough to fish. Although we were disappointed, our hope was that the waves would drive the bait towards the shoreline we were fishing, and the drum would be following close behind. In the meantime, we decided to take the opportunity to do some foraging in the wetlands surrounding the lake. Push through the mud a little bit and give it a little trim, nice and deep. A nice clean cut, and this is what we have. Looks like a green onion. Yeah, super similar. And in reality, we're only eating up to here. Maybe that. Peel away those layers so we just have this nice, beautiful shoot. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So in what we're making, we're looking to add cucumber traditionally, and this is gonna replace that. So give that a smell and give it a bite. Like super tender. Yeah. Like there's not much chew to it. Not what you would think. No. Like seeing these things growing in a marshy area. Yeah. You'd assume muddy, swampy, That's all of insane. that. That's insane. But it has a, like there's cucumber there for sure. Like there's a cucumber flavor. My gosh, this is all food. And there's so much of it. Like this is an endless amount of food. Yeah, it's wild how much it just looks like green onion, eh? Yeah. Hey, it's such an interesting texture. It's even a bit more milder than cucumber, hey? The flavor? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So let's go clean these things up and then we'll start, start the pickling process. Now, cattail shoots taste great fresh, but for the dish that I was planning to create with the drum, I wanted them to have a little extra zip. The best way to accomplish this was to do a pickle. The brine is simple. Rice wine vinegar, sugar, and salt. Then throw in the spices, and I found a few wild roses in the forest to add some floral notes. By mid-afternoon, the wind had died down enough to get back to fishing. The water was still a little choppy, so it was a bit of a struggle to stay upright while walking on the slippery rocks. You just can't walk with any confidence. No. Nope. <laughs> it's horrible. 
but after not seeing a single drum yesterday, we were real anxious to see if the overnight wind had increased our chances of catching one. I bet I snagged the same spot you were snagged. Yeah? Oh, that's frustrating. I love this bait. Come on. Brutal. Whoa, what the heck? As soon as my bait came out, something grabbed it and took off with it. It's a drum. Nice. Hopefully it stays pinned. It's not hooked terribly well. Get that net low. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yes! Look at that thing. This is just a perfect eater right here. Man, that was exciting. After a bit of a frustrating start, our luck finally changed. We were able to land a beautiful freshwater drum that would be perfect for the dish that I was planning. Then, to sweeten the deal, we caught another one. Since we now had an extra fish, I decided to try something that I wanted to do for a long time. Lovely. Scale both sides? Yeah, she's scaled and ready to rock. A lot of texture to it this stuff so delicious why don't why and that it, texture right it's very firm so firm man more people need to eat drum <laughs> i'm telling you like i probably built it up too much as being fishy but it has a fish flavor to it there's nothing off-putting about that no like not even close and i hate even having to relate it to like something that would be off-putting or weird but that's what people think right and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't fall in love with this this is delicious yeah so right here you can see there's some fat on the back oh that's a good piece right and it's there. great i'm actively trying to look for that off-putting fishiness and i can't even come close to detecting it no it reminds me of sea bass. Like I love sea bass and it's got such a great firm texture to it. And this does it, it holds up. Drum a la seaside. I think that's how they say it. Since we had already caught the fish I needed to make the dish that I was planning, we could enjoy some relaxing midday fishing with no pressures. Our only goals for the day were to catch more fish and turn yesterday's catch into a delicious lakeside feast. Neon and black? Yeah. 
and the white with pink and blue dots. Oh, maybe they're black dots, but still. They kill, call that the killer? We may be run into trouble with the law if we put this thing on, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to take that risk. I'm nervous now. You got a whack load of power sitting on the end of that rod right there, so be careful. Oh, oh, oh! What is happening? Ah! Dude, this thing's got me freaked out! Look at this pelican, he's all looking for donations. Oh, whoa! Hot potato! You gotta watch out, this thing's coming your way. We almost gotta do the combo face net tail grab, then you'll give up. Okay, holy smokes, that is a mitful. <laughs> holy Are you kidding me? Geez. Well, then it's, it's just right there. Oh, this thing weighs a couple pounds, man. There we go on the reel. Oh, look at that. That is a giant cat. We're gonna call this thing the drum roll. Oh. And I think it's probably gonna be the first ever drum sushi roll. Maybe not, I don't know. People have probably made sushi with drum before. I just can't wait to get that fishy flavor with that creamy volcano sauce going yeah. on. And I even bought some tobiko as well, so we've got some fish okay. eggs to go on top. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be just dynamite, man. Like, is that a big deal that we're doing that in the middle of this giant lake? Well, I think it is a big deal because we hauled a lot of junk out Absolutely, here to make sure that yeah. it happens. <laughs> so it's a big deal to me. I had a hit there that I thought for sure was going to be something. Oh, come on. Are you on? Uh, yeah. Yes. That's a fish, baby. <laughs> I wasn't sure there. Well. I was like. If it feels like a snag, there's a chance it's a cat. But the way it's breaking the surface. Uh, what is that? That's a cat. Is it? Honestly, it sort of looked like a bullhead. It is a bullhead. Oh. What? A bully. A bullhead on a spoon. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a giant bullhead. Holy smokes. Ooh. Woo! Come on, bud. That's a beauty little bullhead. I can't remember the last time I caught a bullhead on a spoon like that. Well, see you later, pal. Later, bud. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna give her a couple more casts and then you can do whatever you want, Joe, but sure. it's gonna take me a few minutes to prep everything. Okay, I'll keep fishing then. Perfect. I was kind of asking for a hand there, but. Okay, sure, yeah, I'll keep you do, fishing. You just keep fishing. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get to cooking. You enjoy yourself.
gosh, this looks incredible. Like, I can't believe you did this in the middle of nowhere here. That's the one thing I love about like sushi is that you get these beautiful colors on a plate. Like yeah. when else do you see orange, green, pink? Yeah. Like such a cool looking dish. You got to dig in. First bite. I don't want to lose that. I got, I'm going to dig one of these guys up right here. Oh, that's delicious. We've got drum in the roll. We've got drum in the volcano sauce. Pickled cattail in there. That cattail just gives you a little bit of a, a zinger right it. Like, so good with that in there, man. Mmm. There's more of this, right? Whoa. Like that meat is just so oh. perfect. The texture in there, you get the texture out of oh. th that bite. Yeah. I don't think there's a better person than you to do exactly this way. <laughs> Josh, thank you. That Dude. was incredible. My pleasure.